Hi everyone, today we're talking about Microsoft earnings and how much they actually beat earnings. Um, it was a pretty good beat, um, but there was other things in the earnings that I was really impressed with um, that makes me happy that I've got Microsoft as my biggest position in my portfolio. Um, it's, it's slightly bigger than the next position, but over the next couple of months I would like to add a couple more shares into this position um, than what already is there. It's a great stock. It used to be pretty much like a value stock, but over the last couple of um, years, it's now turned into a growth stock as well as a value stock, which are the stocks that I like to go for, a stock that has really good value, but at the same time, it's growing really well, and we'll get stuck into that. Um, Microsoft is currently going like an 80%, 18% growth, which is really good as well as the dividend. Um, and also as well as that, I've got some big stock news about my portfolio that's going to be coming out. Probably over the weekend, um, some things happened um, yesterday and going into today, um, there's going to be a few positions altered um, and probably, like I say, on the weekend, I'll go into them and I'll tell you what I've done. Um, but probably the biggest change in my portfolio for the last couple of months, um, some really proper big news. But we'll get stuck into Microsoft's earnings. So EPS came in at 1.13 versus 1.08. So we had a bit of a nice beat on that. The revenue was 30.9 billion versus 29.21 billion. Um, so, pretty much a, another good beat on that, over a 1 billion beat, which is uh, really good to see. Um, now, getting into the proper um, the, the things that really did impress me, um, Microsoft had a lot of growth in a lot of sectors in this earnings report, and some of them was uh, absolutely mental. Um, the cloud uh, was up 46%. So not, <laughs> I think now Microsoft has the second biggest cloud play out there. 46% um, is uh, really good. And it's one of the reasons why I got into this stock. Um, it's a reason why I get I look into a lot of the cloud stocks. Um, I think there's a lot of potential in that area. Um, so a stock that has some sort of play in the cloud area is where I like to go. It's a big, big reason why I'm a big fan of Adobe. Um, another one, another stock that I'd like to get back into at some point. Um, Google, Facebook and um, Adobe are my free tech stocks that I'm looking at potentially investing into uh, over the rest of the year. I'd like to pick up two of the three depending on when the right price is. Um, I've just missed Google's right price because I didn't have the money to invest in at the time um, and I just missed Adobe's price because I didn't have the right money to invest in at the time. Um, so we'll see what happens there, but I'll talk about that more in the next video about some shot, the shuffling I've done around in my stock portfolio. Um, not 100% how you say it, but Azure was up 89%, which is really good as well. Um, I think it, over the year it's expected to grow 80%, which is really good. Um, the one side of this company that I feel like is so underappreciated is the gaming side. The gaming side was up 39%. Um, and I think that's without even considering that Microsoft will be bringing out a new games console next year um, so that's going to boost it up even more um, but Xbox really is a solid console um, they seem to be managing a lot of that side better than Sony at the moment so they're dominant in this area as well um, LinkedIn was up 37% there's a few questions as well when they bought LinkedIn about how they're going to manage that, how they're going to get it to grow, is it going to be worth while the purchase? But it's already showing that um, the, how it's going, managing that LinkedIn is really good. I've certainly noticed from my point of view since Microsoft had purchased it, um, it's been better well run. Um, there's a lot more people coming onto it. Um, it's definitely become a bigger part, definitely like the kind of business side of Facebook. Um, so, really happy with that growth. There was a couple of other areas that grow quite a fair chunk as well, which I was happy with as well. But overall, really good earnings report. Um, I think overall that Microsoft growth is probably going to slow down slightly um, compared to this coming from now towards 2019, 2018. I don't think it will grow this much, but there's still plenty of growth. Um, it is definitely probably my favourite tech stock Um and I would like to add a couple more positions, uh, to uh, a couple more shares into this position. Um, it's just about the right time, really. 
Um, if I was to do it, I'd like to get in around the $100 mark um, rather than um, where it's at now. It's closed at about 104 Pre-market says it's up 3-4%, um, so definitely not a great time to be buying now. But if there was a dip, I'd like to get into, into it at some point um, and extend that position. And also, another cloud stock would be really good if I could add one in there. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with this energy report. I'm surprised I've not seen um, the pre-market, the aftermarket jump up slightly more after this. Um, I was kind of expecting it into the 5 6%. But um, it's saying 4 or 3% at the moment. Um, obviously, by the time videos are up, we'll know what have happened. But um, I'm really happy with that energy report. Um, we had also um, another one come out yesterday, which I'll talk about in the next video. And overall, we've just got PayPal next week coming up. Um, Monsters, not for a while, and BA's not for a while. So this is my first earnings report as it so far. Um, but you never know, something might have happened and uh, there might be an earnings report that's happened and uh, I've invested in. Um, but I'll let you know on that next video. So guys, give the video a like and I'll see you on the next video.